a demonstration from Steve Sim from Tyco. I understand you are going to demonstrate a product that 3M has uh, brought with us today. Correct. What we have here, we have Novec 1230 fire suppression fluid. So this is actually a liquid that's used in fixed fire extinguishing systems, which although it looks like water and it's a liquid at room temperature, it's not. I mean, we can see here with the demonstration that it doesn't do any damage to, to electronics. So I've just got a normal uh, tablet computer in there. You can see that the liquid has gone inside the, uh, gone inside the screen there. So it's gone well, in, well, yeah, well inside the, um, the electronics there and yet the, you know, the tablet continues working. So for somebody with high value electronics, like a data center for example, you know, server access kind of thing, you can see there that there's no damage whatsoever if it comes into contact with those electronics. Now, what this is, as I say, it's a fire suppression fluid. So we actually use it to put out fires very, very rapidly inside a data center environment. So if we can just um, light a little candle here. Are we going to set fire to something now, Steve? Set fire to something here. We're going to set fire to this little candle. And just while we're doing that, if we can get that started, I just asked my colleague to, to start the, uh, the other demonstration just in the background. If we can light the staircase as well, we'll show that one. So. As I say, it's a liquid at room temperature, but it's, it, when it discharges into the room, it evaporates. And we can see here, if we uh, look at the candle there, I'm not going to release any liquid, just some of the vapours which are given off inside this tank. Very, very quickly put out, that, put out that flame. So we can show that in a little bit more detail. So Simon here from Korea is just about uh, finished with the, uh, with the candles there. So, we're just going to again release some of the vapours. Simon, if you want to have a go at that, and just release some of those Novex 1230 vapours. And you can see there, there wasn't any of the liquid, that was just purely the vapour from that uh, canister. That's absolutely amazing. So if you do happen to have a fire yeah. in the room where your servers are, this will solve the problem very this quickly. Will put the fire out very, very quickly. So yes, there will be minimum downtime, minimum damage to the equipment that's in the room. And obviously, you know, from a from a you know a client point of view, they can continue working. They haven't got a big clean up. They haven't got the sort of issues that you might have with a sprinkler system, which will obviously, you know, cause a lot of downtime because there's a lot of water everywhere. We don't have those issues with this type of product. I mean, absolutely. Also, as well, if there are staff members who aren't familiar with how to put out an electrical fire, that's saving the company lots of money. Exactly. That's right. It can save them a lot of money because there's minimum downtime. And in terms of um, you know, human occupancy, it's a totally safe product for people to be actually exposed to. You know, if there's a fire, you, 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 know, you want people to, to, to leave the area. But if they can't leave for whatever reason, if they become incapacitated for any, you know, any reason uh, before the system uh, goes off, then when it does go off, if there happens to be people trapped in that area, there's no health effects, there's no adverse effects to their health. So it's completely safe for people, totally safe for the environment. There's no global warming or ozone depletion issues that we have with, uh, you know, with some other systems. None of that, uh, you know, none of those issues uh, with Novex 1230. And as you can see there, there's no issues in terms of, you know, the kind of products that you might find in a data center, high value electronics, no harm whatsoever using Novex 1230. It sounds to me as if everybody needs this. Absolutely, you know, that's why we're, you know, hopefully um, today there'll be some interest in this. You know, there's a lot of people here with data center operators, data center designers. So um, yeah, we're hoping that uh, they might come along and have a look.